Hey guys, what's going on? MassGFX here, and today I'm going to be going over another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering a very simple but very neat effect that I decided to go ahead and give a shot at. I saw this on the cover of a magazine and decided to take an attempt on uh, recreating this effect. So all we're going to be doing is basically just creating this um, very simple image of where it looks like the page is turning on a book. Uh, this can also be applied to anything such as like a desktop wallpaper or any types of graphics that you're doing in Photoshop. Um, and basically you just get the same effect. Um, but just for purposes, I decided to do it on a book. So what we're going to do is just start out with a blank document here with the book already in it. And what we're going to do is create a new layer. And we're going to head over to our pen tool. Now for me, I like to set it on the second option, basically the trace option, which will um, allow you to click points and it won't fill them in as you go. And so what we're going to do to start out is basically just click to make our first point. And while holding down our shift key, we're going to click and make our second point. And basically all that allows you to do is just uh, create a straight line. And then we're going to go up to the middle of the line as if we're creating a triangle. And then uh, instead of letting go of the mouse button, we're going to continue to drag and put a little bit of a curve on it. Now I do want to specify that depending on how much of a curve you put um, will kind of uh, give different looks as to how much the page is turning and you can also uh, differentiate in sizes in your shape uh, to make it look as if either you're turning a little bit of the page or a majority of the page. So from here I'm going to go ahead and hold down my alt key and then click on our last point which will allow us to work from the point that we previously went from instead of um, getting some funky angles. And then we're just going to go ahead and connect the dots here and go ahead and create about an equal line on the other side, like so. And then letting go. And then we're going to right click inside our shape, head over to fill. I'm just going to select white for now. And then hit enter to get rid of our outlines. Now from here we want to make sure that our little shape is also the same color as the book. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on my little color swatches down here at the bottom. And then just click anywhere on the book to get the same color. Click OK head over to my paint bucket tool and then just paint the shape the same color as the book alright now once we have that done we can go ahead and go ahead and transform our object or our shape and put it in the right angle so we're going to do that just hit control T to transform and we want to make sure that the pointy edge is facing inwards and then we can basically just drag this over like so now if you're having a little trouble seeing it because obviously it's the same shape as the book or same color we can just go into our blend modes. I'm just going to add a simple outer glow on this uh, to help it stand out a little bit so we know what we're working with here. Make it a little bit easier to see and line up. Alright, so from here we can either use our arrow keys and just uh, pull it over into the right direction or you can just drag it over. And you want to try and line it up as best you can to the corners of the book like so. And then from here we're going to go ahead and go back into our blending options now we have it all lined up and all we need to do is uh, just use one style which is simply the drop shadow we're going to adjust our angle so that it's going at about a 45 degree angle uh, making it look like as if it's going down uh, your blend mode I would suggest using normal and then we're going to variate the opacity here in a little bit but first we can go ahead and skip over to our distance spread in sizes so to start I'm going to go ahead and bump up my size a little bit and then the spread is pretty much just how much of a spread it's going to give um, outwards of our shape now one thing you want to do uh, keep a uh, particular difference on is the distance. So as you notice if we uh, bump up the distance it will kind of move um, further out from our little shape which also gives it a nice little turn. And then if we bring it back in we're going to get a little bit more of an angle here on the outside of the shape which uh, you do want a little bit more of a shadow on the inside um, which basically allows it to give more of an outline um, as if it's turning a page. And then from here we can basically uh, mess around with our opacity so we can lower it, bump it up, uh, depends on how much um, you want it to stand out against the book. And one thing I just can't stress enough that you really want to make sure you have a little bit of a line here just to give it more of uh, that feel um, that the book is actually turning. And you can mess around with your size a little bit and to get that just at the perfect angle. And then we can go down to our contour options. I like to click the anti-alias button that um, helps smooth out any rough edges. And you can kind of play around with any of these contours. Um, I would either recommend the Gaussian because that looks pretty good. Or you can go down here and mess with the half round which also looks pretty decent. And for that, that's pretty much all you got to do guys. Uh, you can just continue messing around with the uh, specifics on that to get something that looks perfect. Um, as you can see in this one, I basically just add some text behind it to make it look like it was an actual book. 
uh, that was turning his page. So there you go, guys. It's a real quick tutorial. It's a very easy effect, but I figured a lot of guys would enjoy to see this, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please remember to rate the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you guys think it deserved. But other than that, guys, take it easy.